These are a number of uh, presentations that I've collected over the years, uh, stuff that I have found um, various places, and they're kind of fun, so I thought that I would uh, share them with you, uh, hopefully inspire some creativity. So, one online dictionary describes pointillism as the following. Pointillism is a technique of painting in which small, distinct dots of color are applied in patterns to form an image. Georges Seurat, Georges Levant, and Paul Signac developed the technique in 1886, branching from post-impressionism. Here's a painting by Georges Levant. Note that the grainy appearance as the entire canvas is covered in small dots of various colors. Color which, when viewed from a distance, merged to become other colors red and blue becoming purple, and so on. Now the following images are a collection created by Christian Farr, an artist from Granville, Ohio. This was the subject of an article in the Huffington Post in the fall of 20, 2012. Farr would use old tobacco industry advertisements as the basis for some of his earlier work. And thus the content, many of these images came directly from television ads from the 1950s and 60s. Far, looking for a new technique, he experimented with painting with wax, but he didn't feel the results were satisfactory. As a result of a happy accident of the gift that he had given his young daughter, he discovered inspiration for these stunning images. Much of this appears highly pixelated, which is exactly what happens when you enlarge a photographic image beyond what is supported by the program that it was created in, much like pointillism. On Christmas morning, his daughter opened a brand new box of 120 Crayola crayons that he had bought for her, and everything clicked into place. This is the detail from a much larger image. The pieces are held together in black framed boxes which support the crayons and break the images into modules. Here's another angled detail and the complete composition. Personally, I'd like to have some stock in the Crayola company about now. He must go through thousand boxes at a time. Now in closing, here's an image of a piece entitled a Sunday on the Island of the Grand Jatte by artist Georges Seurat. A pointillist during the Impressionist Post-Impressionist movement of the 19th century. Notice some of the similarities? And here's a close-up detail of the way in which Seurat applied his colors. This painting is located in the Helen Birch Bartlett Memorial Collection at the Art Institute of Chicago. You should go down and see it sometime. It's absolutely huge. Anyway, um, on to other things. Uh, we'll be looking for another one of these probably next week.